All right, now that we have the floor cleaned up a bit because of my magnetic tool in the previous video, um, starting to look a little bit better, give me some more ideas on what to do here. Still got a little bit of work to do, organize some things, get rid of some stuff here. But I'm thinking that I want to keep the miter saw over there. However, this doesn't quite measure, or if it does at all, is just exactly eight feet or just under. So the idea of bringing home some of those classical eight foot two by fours and putting them over here to get sized up uh, will not happen. Uh, even if there was more than eight feet here, um, just the idea of having to move the miter saw around, let's say I wanted to chop off two feet, um, you know, versus four feet right down the middle, I'd have some problems with that. So I wanted to keep it over there because of dust collection. That way I could keep it over in the corner uh, instead of in the center of the room or over here. But because of that constraint, I'm gonna have to do exactly that. I'm gonna have to put it over here um, and uh, you know, swap some things around. Um, I'm gonna put my workbench um, right over here, just like I have in my garage shop. I'm going to um, put my table saw here and then have my outfeed table uh, going that way. Um, and maybe if I work this out, I can have the dust collection right over here. Because my table saw is right here, I could have the dust collection just right over there, uh, skip around, you know, uh, that kind of stuff, um, and see what we can see. The other option is get rid of this desk altogether, move this guy, it's 80 inches. Um, move it over here, it will fit, and then uh, build a rolling miter saw uh, stand, uh, table, that I can move in and out, uh, do the same thing with the table saw, um, and then I still have my workbench over here, and then I can move my miter saw here, um, when I don't want to use my table saw, and that way I can keep my desk collection over here, or still over there a little bit. Uh, instead of having to move a lot of things around. Uh, the pro, pro to that is mobility. The disadvantage or the con to that is um, stop blocks and things like that. I'm going to have to orchestrate something over here instead of having a stationary spot over here that always has the stop blocks lined up. Um, so a few more things to think about there as well. And it's also feeling a little dusty in here. Um, the more I'm in here, so I'm definitely going to have to, or dusty or musty, I'm going to have to take care of some air quality here. So one of the next projects might be, I'm going to do one of those do-it-yourself dust collecting fans, those box fans uh, that you can get for about 20 bucks and see how that goes, help clear out some of this in here. Um, I might, um, you know, put something up here to protect this in case the dust goes flying in there into these grooves. I'm of course going to contain this thing, uh, I'm going to put the uh, material back up that needs to go there, I still have it over there, not a problem, um, and we'll take care of that. I'm still planning, now that this is a clean space and I can start envisioning things, I'm going to see if I can get some shop lights right up here, just, uh, just right up here, um, that flip to the switch, so I think I'll put an outlet up here. Um, and you know I'll put an outlet over there. I thought about doing a light switch, but why be constrained? Um, you know, if this is a shop environment, why put another light up there? Um, you know, a light fixture when I can put uh, an outlet that can have these shop lights connected to them, plug in and plug out. They're not hardwired. Um, that's what I've been doing for a long time. Like these shop lights right here, they work work fine. The other. Right now they're corresponding to a mess over there, a little mess, um, but that'll be fixed here with this project as well. I'm still planning to drop this ceiling a bit, um, or at least encase this. Um, we'll see how that goes um, as well, but why do it if I don't have to yet? So we'll, we'll experiment here and see how it goes. Everything is contained um, outside of that, so um, we do have two entryways into this room. I honestly, I might just close this one off or at least just lock it up and that way I know nobody will be coming through there. I might put some locks in and 
or just lock this here or put some bolts down here just so nobody can come in um, and just use that way as the entry point to this little little shop so I measured it out about uh, 13 um, or so by 8 uh, of usable space um, and this is about 6 right here so um, it's not the biggest place but it'll do the job do the job